review guy here today with another quick video now you know that I have the garage kind of half open because it is very cold outside right now so I'm just gonna do this review with the garage half open so I got some new tools I'll just go ahead and show you I got new tools now if you remember I did a view review on this particular wrench but it was a different color it was black and red well that one has been turned over to my dad and I got a new one so that's not it though. I got that one. Put that one right there. <clears throat> and I have a couple of unboxing ones too that I'm gonna do. I got a bit. The one that came with that one. <laughs> Damn. Alright. This is gonna be a really quick video. I'm just gonna do it on packaging and show you these. And then I got this one. Damn, all three. So these two came in a set. And I was like, man, I should get the needle nose ones too. And <clears throat> if you're a tool junkie like myself, you know what always happens. When you get one, you get the other. And if they had more, I probably would have gotten them because I'm pretty sure they had like a, a smaller needle nose or a bigger one, I mean. But it was sold out. And I actually got the last two of these too, the last set. This, this package was... Like, I believe $22. And it comes with a 7 inch and a 10 inch. 7, 10, obviously. And then this, I forgot what inch size it is, 6 inch. And as you can see, those are needle nose. So now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to unbar or unpack this one. This one has a zip tie, so I have to cut it. And then that will be in, probably the end of the video. But. If you're looking for a good lock plier set, I highly recommend Milwaukee. I had the Craftsman for about three hours, and the Craftsman actually broke. That is no joke, people. Like, I just opened the packaging, took it out, opened the little deal, and spring, it, it broke. Like, the spring went flying everywhere. So, yeah, I don't recommend you ever buy anything craftsman anymore because they used to be really good so i don't know what happened to that but their quality went way down so never buy craftsman so what i'm gonna do here is is i'm going to probably stop the video for a second so i can unwrap these and then i'll show them to you and then that'll be it so i'll be right back oh well, yeah i'm back at you here today so here's we're back to the review so I just got them unwrapped, took a couple seconds. So now for the review. So you know you have a good wrench if you open it and the springs and stuff don't fly off. Like I was saying in the Craftsman, this freaking thing right here went flying off and there's a spring. I don't know where this one is. This one actually may not have, oh yeah, there it is. It's on the opposite side, but there's a spring right there. And on the Craftsman, this thing went flying off and that spring went flying off. So, I'll never buy Craftsman again, ever. I mean, back when I was a kid, they were like the best tools you could buy. None of the worst. So I tested that one, no problems. I watched this. Test this one out. Let me like, hang on, it's really, ah. Damn, put more than one hand, cause it's pretty tight in there. And no problems. Okay, I'm gonna adjust this real quick. Yeah, yeah. somebody had that one adjusted all the way. But you know how, like, bam, spring's still there. That's still there, so, you know, that's a good set. So, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the day. If you're out looking for a uh, lock plier set, I highly recommend the Milwaukee sets. It's like I said a little bit ago, these two come in set, that one's separate. And I think the needle nose was like 12 bucks. These two were 23, I want to say. I think it was like 25 or 6 with tax. Anyway, guys, I hope everybody's doing good, staying safe and healthy. And that's it for the day. Peace. Review guy out.